To balance this combustion reaction, C4H8 plus O2 gives us H2O plus CO2. Let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. Carbon 4, hydrogen 8, and then oxygen 2. On the product side, we have carbon 1, hydrogen 2, and then we have one oxygen here. But do be careful because we have two more in the carbon dioxide. So we have a total of three oxygens. So looking at the equation, I like to leave the oxygens to last when I'm balancing combustion reactions. And you can tell it's combustion because you have a hydrocarbon mixing with oxygen and you get water and carbon dioxide as your product. So I like to leave the oxygens till last. I have four carbons, one here. Let's put a four in front of the CO2. So I have one times four. So now the carbons are balanced. Let's update the oxygens. I have the one oxygen here plus I have the two times four, that's eight. So I have nine oxygens. Next, since we have two hydrogens here and eight here, let's try to get this balanced. If we put a coefficient of four here for the hydrogens, two times four, that gives us eight. And then let's update our oxygens here. So I have one times four plus two times four, that's eight. So four plus eight, I have 12 oxygen. That makes me happy because it's an even number. So two for the oxygens over here times something gives me 12. Two times six, that would equal 12. That would balance out the oxygen. So I have six as my coefficient here on the oxygen. And this equation is balanced. The trick here really, leave the oxygens till last. That's usually a good approach with combustion reactions. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.